Hello everybody and welcome back to Thornton Farm. This is going to be an episode of bale handling. Yes, I am concerned too, I know. I have a reputation with my bale handling skills and they're not good, but we're still going to give it a go anyway. I have downloaded a different bale grab for today's episode. Hopefully it's going to improve my stacking skills, um, but we're just going to have to hope for the best, I think, really. And we'll most likely be using Bullet Bill's um, Marshall Trailer Edit, which allows you to actually strap them onto the trailer. So it doesn't really matter how bad my stacking is going to be, it will still look perfect by the end of it. Now we do still have this harvest here to do, but I think it's going to be finished off screen. I'm not going to do any more in the video. We have done way too much harvesting recently. Um, I want to make way for some better and more interesting stuff. Harvesting is good, but only in small quantities. So, let's go over to the main yard. I don't think we have a trailer actually. We do have the the small Flegel bale trailer, but I'm not a fan of it because I can't reverse it. So, I don't really want to use it. We're gonna go with Bullet Bill's version of the Marshall trailer, uh, which just means we're gonna to have to buy it. We also do need to buy the grab as well. So we've got to do a bit of spending. Not always a bad thing, but we don't have an awful lot of money. Right, so in convoy with us is the JCB. It is just about back there. You can see it appearing just below the wiper, I think it is. Yeah, it's a wiper. It is following. We're going to attach the grab directly to it, and we're also going to attach the trailer to the Matty Ferguson. Right, we need space for two vehicles to pull out here. As usual, we have hit rush hour. Let's see if we can see it pull out. There we go in the wing mirror. Right, so, basically what happened before, oh we'll have that wait, basically what happened before, a few people did notice there was a bit of a uh, money change, <laughs> an unexpected money drop, and that was this cultivator. I accidentally sold it, so I had to rebuy it again. I think I'm going to have to add the money which it cost back in via the XML file, because it was a total accident. That's the reason why it's here. Um, but yes, we need to get the bale trailer. Hopefully we can afford it. Actually, I think it's about a pound. Pretty sure it is. Um, where would it be? Baling technology? Yeah, I think so. I can't remember which one it is, though. That is the issue. Um, yes. <laughs> that is an issue. I think we'll just have to attach this one and see what it can do. If it's not the right one, we'll have to change it. Uh, yes, it is. That is the correct one. Fantastic. As for the grab, I don't know how much that's going to cost. It's probably quite expensive. Um, yes, telehandlers. Here we oh, only £250. Easy. Easy money, that. So... Get that attached as well. We'll drop the gears down. It's way too high. It's appeared just over here. Make sure it's aligned first of all. Yeah, good enough. And I think we'll probably drive the telehandler. Actually, it might be a better idea to put this on the trailer. So driving down the road like this. Hopefully it will stay on. Mm, it should do. Well, if we put the telehandler um, as the follow me driver, then we will actually have some control over how good or bad the driving is. It's just crashed into us. Brilliant. At least it didn't fall off. That was a good test. Right, so the field we're going to go to is right out of here. It is indeed the agroforestry field. There's the field. And it has quite a lot of bales. You can, if you want to, just drive around the field in circles, picking up the bales as you go. And they'll miraculously appear on the trailer, which is a nice little feature, but obviously not very realistic. Not for this trailer, anyway. If it was an auto stacker, then yeah. Um, but it's still good because if, if all your bales fall off then at least you can automatically pick them up again which is a good feature it's brilliant right the trees are an issue they really are so hopefully um, 
they're not going to get in the way too much. Oh no, don't teleport. No. Bad habit. The follow me JCB is coming very slowly. Now, please do bear in mind, I've never used this grab before, so I might be terrible. Um, but I'm pretty sure it does work. It's got very good reviews, so yes. I have a lot of confidence in the mod, but not in me. Well, they do say slow and steady wins the race. Hello, where have you been? Right, let's uh, throw him out anyway. And we'll put the grab onto the front. Oh, it was stuck in gear three. My fault. Ping. Right, it begins. So as you can see, looking at the control page, you can lock the bales on by pressing X. That is what we'll do. Um, this might take a bit of getting used to. Never done it before in my life with one of these, so please do bear with me. Hopefully I'm putting it on the right way though. Right. Dig in. And lift up. Good. So it's clearly a very effective mod. I might have put it a bit too far over actually. Now low down for this one. So both bells are aligned. We can now pick them both up in one go. Yeah, I think that was okay. Yeah, you can see that one on the right hand side isn't perfectly square. So that's going to be a bit of an issue getting it on the trailer. But practice makes perfect. This is the first time I've ever used this, so I have a bit of an excuse, I suppose. Now, thank you very much to everyone who did say how to actually load the trailer correctly. I was loading from the back before, but apparently you load from the front. So thanks to your comments, I should be able to do this a lot better. But yes, we do need the, uh, the good old bullet bill script to do this correctly. But yeah, this, this crap is brilliant. If you're wanting to download the grab for yourself, you can do. It's available from FSUK. And as usual, I will link it below. It's so much trickier from in cab view. Oh, I missed the Satex side panel. I really do. I could get it fixed, but I would have to wipe my mods folder, which I really don't want to do. Oh, I think that was a lot better, actually. They're both in line. If you don't get them perfectly in line, it doesn't tend to grab them. This is a precision tool, it seems. I bet if you uh, are a good stacker, then you'd be able to use this pretty well. If I drop the gears then I might be able to push them to the end. Well, it's okay. Oh no, don't want to do that. I do prefer this though over the spike. It's a lot better. Alright, we don't actually. I thought we had more than this. We don't have half as many as I thought we had. I might try and get my Satic side panel working again. Because, well, I've already spent hours on it trying to get it to go. There's nothing wrong with the hardware itself, it's the uh, farming simulator. Uh, binding page because of all the different mods which require the same settings Ooh, 
Right, so, I just realised my hard drive was totally full from all the recordings I've been doing. So I've just cleaned all that up. Uh, before it was actually, perhaps it was stopping the recording halfway through without me realising. So I was losing half of my footage. Hopefully it's turned out okay. Um, but yes, it is sorted now. I think we've probably missed a couple of these bells going on the trailer. But there's plenty more to come. Okay, straight back up to the top again. We've got two more to pick up from up there. And we'll come back for this one here. And we'll pick up that one with it as well. Um, but yes, we're definitely going to get this field cleared pretty quickly. I like to do it from in cab view, but always trickier. I found a little knack to so drop that one off, and then if you push it against the back of the frame, tilt it down a bit and then grab again. Nearly every time it will successfully pick up them both, which is fantastic. I had to strap a few of them onto the trailer because the gaps in between were just far too wide. Interestingly enough, the tractor does actually spin the bales round. They're on the trailer a different way now. So I could just load them up from the back. That would obviously be very hard if you were doing it from the beginning. But as we're at this stage, we can do it this way. I'm just going to have to change the course play setting, I think. Oh no, we seem to be okay. You can also use, as a lot of people have quite rightly pointed out, you can also use the keyboard to control the telehandle, but I've just always found it easier to use the mouse if you're not using the joystick. That is, it. That is our reach. That's as far as we can go. But that's not too bad. We should be able to load the last two on pretty easily. Yep, that's all cleared. I think there is, yeah, there's one more up here. Oh no, there's three more up here. And then there's, uh, yeah, quite a few up there as well. So, we'll grab this one. And then obviously get a load more as well. One thing I really do love about this telehandler is the way that the engine RPM increases when you're powering something on the hydraulics. So even if you're not driving, the RPM will increase. There we go then. Moment of truth. Will this be possible or will I totally fail? There is always the possibility of failure. that. It's okay. Right, so is that full or can we get another layer on? I don't think you would usually. Um, what's the registering as? Oh yeah, 0% because obviously they're not strapped on. Let's strap them on and we'll see. There we go. Uh, no, that is only 66% full so you can put another layer on there if you want to. Which we will do. Right, so believe it or not, I think there's actually going to be the perfect 
number of spaces on the track. Oh no, there's not. There's one bale extra. Oh, that is so annoying. We've got one bale too many. I suppose we could keep one on the grab, I suppose. Uh, but I'm not too sure. Ooh, that slid about a bit. That's weird. Well, that's these two. We will get them put onto the trailer, and then the trailer will be full. I think it is just that one though. Just one bale left on its own. That is so annoying. Oh well, it can't be helped. So yeah, we'll, we'll just take it over here and get it on, hopefully fairly straight, and take everything back to the yard. Okay, so I'll just line it up once again. Try to in some in cab view, that might be quite hard. Right, I think that is in place. Yes, fantastic. So, what I'm going to do now is just go and get the last bale. And although it's not that realistic at all, we are going to take it back on the road with on the grab. Luckily, the yard is a field distance away, so at least we don't have far to go at all. But yeah, it would be ideal if we could do this without taking it on the road like this. Um, actually, how would this be transported then? Would it be transported on a trailer, or can you actually can you do it like I don't know? I don't know. Someone please let me know. If you wanted to transport it on a road, how would you do it? Without a bale, of course. Now I'll just have to do. Now I don't really know what to do with these bells yet, so I'm going to just keep them on the trailer for today. We'll probably deal with them tomorrow. Um, I think we'll sell some but it would be nice to keep some as well so yeah we'll, we'll just park it in the yard for this evening in fact yes it is the evening so I don't know if we're going to skip the night time because I do worry about the field which we haven't yet harvested fully um, but we might do depends how far away from withering it is and they do need to be strapped on otherwise there's going to be many bales across the road so if we press B there we go. Always looks so good when they're all perfectly aligned with the straps on. It's a shame I didn't do that myself. That would have been impressive. So the uh, JCB can follow us. We're going to be in the traction trailer. I think we've got away with it. That was close, but obviously not close enough. Oh, it's skidding about a bit. But it should be okay. Uh, we'll just wait here though, because whenever I drive too far ahead, they come, they pick up so much speed, they just basically try and go straight on here instead of turning. Oh, that is that is tight. At the risk of taking out some walls and stuff here. Well, it is round. I don't know about the damage though. So we'll just park it in this yard on the left hand side and we'll deal with them tomorrow. I just hope the JCB gets back in one piece. There we go. Here it comes. Yep, it seems to be here still. <laughs> with no, no uh, big dents in the side. Oh, yes. Thank you for that. Thank you for that little performance at the end there. It was totally unnecessary. Now I'm going to have to straighten my trailer. Remember, realism is key. It used to be. We'll park this just here. And, yes. We should straighten this up. 
I think I work my workforce too hard. They're always so tired they don't even look what they're doing. Yes, that's what it will be. Anyway, there we go. It is done. It is blocking the barn, but that's okay. Because it'll be moving very, very soon. Yes, I thought I was hovering. So that is today's work done, and uh, it looks quite impressive. Shame I didn't do it myself, but there you go. So thank you very much to Sam N for producing such a fantastic telehandler and sharing it with everyone. Also, fantastic trailer over there, fantastic tractor, and a fantastic grab, all of which are downloadable from the link below. In fact, I think all of which are downloadable from FS UK. Yes, they are. The home of quality mods. But there we go. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you again in the next video. Until then, bye for now. Right, so the field we're going to go to is right out of here. It is indeed the agroforestry field. My cat is crying. <laughs>